Hi there. Welcome to Apple World so Asian dolls are getting hauled for being bigoted towards Indians. I think she screwed up downright awful this time. Be that as it may, rather than saying sorry and fixing things, she emerged and resolved the issue in the absolute worst manner and afterward exacerbated things. Young lady, I realize you didn't simply say that. So. Asian Doll turned 25 on December 7, 2021. And Asian Doll set up a party for her birthday this year, yet it prompted her to be hauled all around the web. Fans came for herself, and they came for her hard and hauled her by her little bitty edges. So in the event that you're asking why fans are calling her out for setting up a birthday celebration, all things considered, she isn't getting hauled for setting up a birthday celebration. Fundamentally, yet she is being hauled for the sort of birthday celebration that she tossed. You see, November 29th, she posted this image on Twitter and Instagram, and she uncovered that the subject of her party was Asian doll departures to India. That wasn't adequately terrible. She likewise demanded that visitors come wearing Indian clothing. Presently, fans are not content with her and say this is hazardous for such countless reasons. And at the top of the list is the fact that the Asian doll isn't Indian or even Asian. She was brought into the world in Dallas, Texas, and her genuine name is Miss Sharon Jamekia Allen. I have close to zero familiarity with you folks, yet that name sounds really dark to me and not Asian by any means. No doubt, I definitely dislike her stage name. Yet that is a story for one more day. Fans think that since she is an Indian, it is somewhat inappropriate for her to arrange an Indian-themed party that is really close to being a social appointment, and that is something that individuals don't mess with by any means. What's more, I thoroughly comprehend this since individual societies aren't something for you to simply use as a subject for your birthday, particularly when you're not an individual from that culture or clan. This is an exceptionally delicate issue, and I feel that it simply demonstrates that Asian dolls don't regard different societies by any means. It simply appears as though she is involving a whole culture for amusement. Also, I get why Indians are really distraught at her, aside from the way that she is thoroughly off base for involving the Indian culture for unadulterated diversion. Without really an aspect, she is additionally known for being really impolite towards Indian culture. For instance, in February 2021, she disseminated Indian food on Twitter and expressed, I'm at this Indian eatery. What would it be advisable for me to arrange? Everything looks dreadful. Obviously, individuals flew off the handle and called her out for offending Indian food. Yet rather than saying Zari, she rather tweeted and said, however, did I lie? Furthermore, I can't request to eat at a calf without whimsical individuals telling wisecracks. As may be obvious, in addition to the fact that she disregarded Indian culture, she likewise called individuals whimsical for calling her out about her awful way of behaving. So therefore, it seems as though she is being an immense fraud for slating Indian culture just to pivot and involve it as a subject for her birthday celebration without saying Zari for her prior assertions. Also, I realize that certain individuals will say that it's simply food. So let me let you know that food is a very significant piece of each and every culture. Also, in the event that you eat the food, you're essentially dissing the way of life. Second of all, young lady, what were you thinking about offering passes to your birthday celebration? Do you believe it's a beyond show or something to that effect? Young lady on the off chance that you don't quit playing, similar to, what were you thinking when you put those tickets available to be purchased? Goodness, paradise, assist me with this one. In any case, fans didn't frustrate her at all since they before long began hauling her all over the roads of virtual entertainment. One fan wrote, How is everything turning out to host an Indian-themed gathering? Which is so oblivious yet was trying to say Indian food looked or tasted appalling. Presently, I feel like her way of life is a joke. I totally concur with this fan since she hit the spot on with this remark. You better believe it. I realize that you feel that this entire show was awful yet it deteriorates. For reasons unknown, Asian Doll thought it was smart to make a video about this. Furthermore, better believe it, she picked a melody to accompany the video. Need to understand what the terrible part of pretty much all of this is. Is that the tune she decided to go with? The video had an Arabic melody and was not an Indian tune by any stretch of the imagination. Investigate. It's a recycled shame for me, young lady. All in all, what the heck is happening with you? What were you thinking when you made this video? Do you have no dear companions? 
who might have let you know how terrible this is. Indian music is totally different from Arabic music, and Asian doll plainly doesn't have the foggiest idea about this discussion about obliviousness at its pinnacle. It truly can't deteriorate like this. Fans again took to Twitter to drag her, and one fan tweeted, Not you utilizing an Arabic melody to portray Bollywood in a real sense. Discard this entire task. Furthermore, I need to thoroughly concur with this. While another fan said obliviousness and discourtesy at its best, not long after this Asian doll made this tweet and said, me not giving a F and looking pretty while making it happen. So I surmise that all the analysis and hauling didn't get to her by any means. All right. So do you all know how I said that this could never deteriorate? Indeed, really, it deteriorated, and it's completely humorous. Asian doll arranged her party. Also, indeed, she kept the Bollywood subject. Yet, no, that is not what makes this entire thing absurd and amusing. What makes it amusing is that she came to her own party dressed as Cleopatra. Young lady. What? Away? I shouted when I saw this. Presently, in the event that you are at any point focused on your school and don't have the foggiest idea what Cleopatra's identity was, indeed, Cleopatra was an Egyptian sovereign. Furthermore, assuming you take a gander at the guide, you'll understand that Egypt is no place near India. Egypt is in Africa, while India is in Asia. Like young lady, how might you be so clearly and wrong simultaneously? Like pick a battle, kid. Obviously, fans came for her once more, and this time they were really legitimate, frankly. Somebody tweeted. Presently, why did Asian doll stroll into her Bollywood-themed party that had Arabic promotion music wearing an Egyptian headpiece? Furthermore, I truly need a response to this since, what the heck? You all, we truly can't make this stuff up. Someone else tweeted that an Asian doll made an appearance at her Indian-themed party, which was reported to have Middle Eastern music dressed as Egyptian. Another person said the Asian doll's Indian-themed party was a bad dream, and not one individual grasped the task. In the event that you will fit my way of life, essentially give us a serve. Damn! Furthermore, I absolutely need to concur with this since that was the absolute minimum that she might have done. The situation isn't stunning enough. It actually deteriorates. This Twitter client responded to the video of her dressed as Cleopatra and said, Why did you cause this contention behind a Bollywood-themed party and come dressed out like Cleopatra? Asian doll then, at that point, answered and said, Clearly and wrong. You all started this debate since I posted a flyer for a subject party. In the future, mind your business. I ought to have flown in on an enchanted rug. Um, would someone say someone will tell her that an enchanted rug is neither Indian nor Egyptian? Like, what is the deal with this young lady? Where does she get this data from? Google is thoroughly free, and there is no great explanation for her to be this oblivious and clueless. She has now emerged to stand up in the debate, and she has additionally tended to the remarks calling her insane. Addressing neighborhood talk, she asserted that she was unable to be bigoted on the grounds that she has some Indian family lines. Stand by and listen to this kid talk. Individuals don't, for even a moment, truly realize it like my family race. Um, my granddad is, um, he's Indian. He's full-blooded India. Furthermore, my mother is blended, and she's blended in with Creole. I don't actually feel like you all know me. I'd prefer to take the intensity and make sense of it. So, truth be told, I will bring my family into this. Furthermore, individuals judge my family like, Gracious, you are lying mine. Um, alright, I'm about to come right out and say it. Most importantly, the fact that her granddad was Indian doesn't imply that she can't be bigoted and hostile towards Indians, since her activities in recent weeks have shown that she plainly has no regard for Indians. So that part about having an Indian granddad doesn't legitimize her activities. She additionally discusses how her mom is part Creole. Furthermore, this part made me wonder why did this young lady never take a geology class or something like that? Since Creole individuals are local Americans, that is way unique in relation to Indians. The way of life is totally unique. Also, I'm thinking about how she even stirred up both in any case. Kid, this young lady needs an illustration in geology, and she really wants it pronto.